is just starting to kick off. Bucks are just starting to get interested in the does. And uh, I might get into this spot for the first time this year, this hunting season, to uh, go after this buck I call Lucky. I have four years of sheds on him. I've been hunting him for the past couple years. Um, me and Tyson came in here last year and I missed an opportunity at him, unfortunately. <sighs> oh my goodness. I was creeping down the timber. I just finished checking the cam, there's nothing on it, and I, I was slowly, slowly dropping down into this really nice timber shaded area, right where I missed him last year, and I turned the corner, and he was standing right there, broadsided, about 40 yards. I shot once, he dropped, he got back up, I shot again. That's definitely him. Oh my goodness, he's huge. No, definitely. Oh my goodness. It's a freaking giant. I have spent three years chasing this, this buck. So let me preface this story a bit. I first discovered um, Lucky in 2021. I had set cams in a new spot in the summer. And come the fall, I'd already harvested 165 inch mule deer um, early October. And come November, I went in there looking for whitetails and figured I'd check the cams, not knowing there would be a big mule deer on them. So I discovered the cam, discovered the pictures of the four x five mule deer and I was just super impressed and super sto stoked. I knew I was gonna hunt him the following year. Come the spring, I went into the area looking for sheds. I figured sometimes mule deer when they're mature like that, they tend to hide in these little pockets and they'll stay in this, these little pockets, they'll rut in the pockets and they'll shed in the pockets, they'll winter in them. So I gritted the area out. The first shed of, set of sheds that I found were these small four point sheds. And I didn't make the connection right away. I just thought these were another set of four point sheds. I would later come to find that these are the younger sheds off of Lucky. And 50 yards from that, I picked up these sheds, five by four muley set, and I knew right away that it was him. In the trail cam photos, obviously the five side is bigger, so I knew these were from the year before. The following day after finding those two sets of sheds, I gridded the area out even harder, just trying to find the details, trying to look closer to find the fresh set of browns off him. I didn't, have, didn't end up finding those that year, but I did find another shed off him, a four side. The funny story about this shed, it ended up being found about 40 yards from where I killed him. A bit confused at first because this is a larger shed than this and this is a four side this is a five side so my theory is he skipped a year being five so in between the trail cam photos and this shed i figured he was a four by four or he switched sides being a four by five on the other side never did find the match to this shed i still haven't found it to date so it's out there somewhere or somebody else picked it up but it's still super cool super good condition um, that summer I spent so many hours hiking in salt, setting more cams. I had about five cams up in the spot at the time. And um, he didn't show up on any of the cams throughout the summer. Come fall, I checked the camera late September and early October, no sign of him. I was starting to get a bit worried, figured he moved out of the area. But come early November, I went in and checked the cams and he had shown up. He had um, come by the cam three times, I believe, and he was a even larger four by four with an inline kicker, a small inline kicker on the left side. So that's why I figured he switched back and forth from being five on one side to five on the other. Um, and basically I hunted him that year super, super hard. I spent 20 plus days in that spot just it's a big slope. I was hunting it from the top up, from the bottom down, zigzagging. I came across him twice. 
once in the timber where I just couldn't get a shot. That was my first day in there. And uh, later on in the season, I ended up coming across him, getting a shot off and missing him. Go, 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 go. Okay. We just spooked the target buck. I gave him a little grunt. Dalen shot, it was a hit. We're not showing the hit, he's running down right now. Oh my God, he jumped up like 60 yards from us and started running. We had a, that had to happen so quick. Oh my God, I hope he hit, I hope he hit. I'm gonna get down there with him. He's running down. Okay, we think it's a miss. It's free end, like pretty far. Dalen's gonna follow the tracks. <laughs> the buck we've been after. That's lucky. He's huge. Okay, I'm back where first shot was taken right there. And there is no blood. Man, he stinks. I love that smell of meal deer buck. But he stopped right here. We were Right up on that opening up there. Come spring of 2022, I gritted the area out hard trying to find his sheds. I never did turn up his sheds. Um, they're still out there right now. I'm gonna be looking this spring, looking in different spots, trying to think outside the box, trying to find them. But I ended up getting lucky about four kilometers away from the zone where he had shed and I had seen him the year before. Um, I found, I, I got super lucky and I stumbled across these sheds. These sheds are from the year 2021 and he is way bigger than I thought he was. Um, you can tell by the five side that it's the same same year off him. And I was super stoked to, to find these, I got super lucky. All right, so come 2023, I had set cams in the summer hiking in salt, hay, more cams into the spot. I had seven cams in the spot at that point. And uh, I went in to check the cams at the end of summer and I got one picture of him in velvet. Um, I knew it was him just because of the brow tines on him sticking straight up. And also his bases were huge and the main beams just came straight off his head. I knew it was him right away. I didn't end up getting any other pictures of him that summer so I just continued to check cams throughout the throughout the summer and fall in hopes to uh, get more pictures of them but I never did. I'm just gonna work through the timber and look for a big body deer and uh, I know there's other bucks in here so I gotta really pay attention and make sure I'm shooting the right one. I was creeping down the timber and I just finished checking the cam there's nothing on it and I, and I was slowly slowly dropping down into this really nice timber shaded area right where I missed him last year and I turned the corner and he was standing right there broadsided about 40 yards I shot once he dropped he got back up I shot again this is where he was bedded I can't believe how quickly this happened. 
I've been chasing this buck for three years and my first morning back in this spot, it's October 29th and it's coming down this ridge right where I bumped him and missed him last year. I bumped him out of his bed. He stood there broadside 70 yards and dumped him. It's just pretty bittersweet to get him on the first day in here because I spent 20 plus days just pounding this timber last year with no success. And so feels really good to get this caliber of a buck. It's just unbelievable. I mean, I have the sheds off them and the sheds just don't compare in mass. This is what it's all about right here. Waited all year for this moment. Got a big buck down, fire going, sun's coming up. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Tyson and Alec are on their way. We're gonna try to see if we can quarter him up or sled him out, put him on an ice fishing sled and try to drag him downhill. That's the story of Lucky. He's a beautiful four x four mule deer, Okanagan mule deer, and uh, they just don't grow like this too often. It's hard to find bucks of this caliber, especially in, in this region where bucks get shot as, uh, as young bucks. Or as soon as they turn four, they get shot. So when a buck can find a hidey hole that he can just hide out and is safe from predators and humans, hunters, he can grow into something special and that's exactly what this buck did and i was able to outsmart him on that particular day and uh ended up with an awesome buck and some great memories mm -hmm.